his picture hung inside the living room. I still recall it. I still remember looking at the shield every single day. Detective John Bolden only knew his grandfather through photos and a memorial wall at police headquarters. It's good that he's remembered. But the murder of patrolman Robert Bolden on January 22nd, 1971 weighs heavy on his mind. It impacted my family for many generations. We're approaching 50 years since this happened, and this was a significant homicide at the time. Bolden had served in World War II and was off duty from the 75th precinct on a Friday night when he stopped at Dunn's Bar on Gold Street to say hi to the bartender. A man was lingering in the phone booth at closing time, 10 p.m. He went and tapped on the phone booth, you know, asked him to, you know, exit the location, and when he turned around, that's when it got fired on him. We're near the corner where it happened, but there's no Dunn's Bar anymore. No, not anymore. It's now a high rise, but the unsolved case remains of high importance. 1971 was the first year of a decade that was very tumultuous for us as an organization and a department. Uh, police officers were being assassinated, uh, shot in numbers that weren't previously seen. After Officer Bolden fell to the ground mortally wounded, the shooter fled the bar. But then at least one more person came in and stole the slain officer's 38 caliber service revolver. John Bolden recalled the feeling of getting a replica of his grandfather's shield when he graduated the police academy. It was great to see those, uh, to see the numbers that I've seen in the picture my whole life actually on my chest. Bolden had to give up the shield when he was promoted to detective, but Officer Adriana Kaiser from the Personnel Bureau let him briefly reunite with it during our interview. Oh wow, <laughs> it's my numbers, two zero zero two five. The NYPD now offering huge numbers to anyone who can solve Robert Bolden's murder, raised by police unions and Blue Lives Matter. The grand total turned out to be $111,500. Potential witnesses could be in their 60s or their 90s. Even if the, if the killer is dead, it doesn't mean the case is closed because there's still a lot of unanswered questions that the family has. My grandmother was saying to me quite frequently, you know, one day they're going to catch the person that did this. She really had a broken heart. He's doing it for his grandmother, too. This is the biggest award Crime Stoppers has ever offered. If someone calls or emails with a tip, they get a code number. If the tip is significant, the cash is paid at the bank using the same code. You can find the contact information at pix11.com. Tamsin and Corey.